What up everyone? It is Sunday, uh, May 27th, and it's almost about 2 o'clock p.m. right now. And my wife just dropped me off in, yep, you guessed it, Capitol Reef National Park. I'm actually at the uh, Pleasant Creek Trailhead again. One year ago today, uh, my wife and I uh, uh, started a hike from here and I'm gonna kind of start out another hike the same route, uh, but this is gonna be more of a overnight through hike where I'm gonna use this as the uh, terminus and then uh, go out sheet sculch tomorrow morning. Look at this, Memorial Day weekend? And there's nobody at the trailhead here. What's up with that? And uh, yeah, but uh, going through Fruta, it's uh, as expected, absolutely crowded. All around the visitor center and the park there and uh, the orchards and all the trailheads up around the highway. And the, it's uh, crazy, we only uh, saw two cars uh, that we passed by that were going the other way as we were coming down uh, after Capitol Gorge, which is where the pavement ends. But yeah, all along the pavement, <laughs> the uh, more popular trailheads are just awash with people, as you'd expect, as uh, most pa national parks are in Utah and uh, elsewhere, would be on a weekend like this. So the forecast was iffy for this. Um, Tory, the weather is supposed to be real bad all afternoon, this afternoon and tomorrow afternoon as well. Uh, and that is the weather system moving through. I think uh, it's just the time of year where the monsoon pattern starts picking up and you start getting these afternoon uh, thunderheads that build up over the uh, higher elevations, in this case, Boulder Mountain, and then uh, they start move, moving over and so Torrey is a little higher up where I'm at and I fortunately the uh, weather pattern is in the wind direction is pushing the uh, stream of weather to the uh, northeast from the southwest and so it could hit Fruita because the Fruita forecast was also saying scattered showers uh, get sm uh, moderate chance of that this afternoon and tomorrow uh, but I think I'm gonna get lucky down in the more southern parts of the park here and uh, as you can see blue sky this way all around and I think that's what how it's gonna be for me the this trip so hope it hope so anyways So in the seemingly never-ending attempt to try uh, new options for walking creeks and, and those kind of hikes, I've picked up these uh, very lightweight, a liter is the brand off Amazon. They're really cheap water shoe on Amazon. And so I'm gonna give these tr a try today. Um, they're uh, all mesh on top and they've even got some holes on the bottom. So uh, very much a uh, easy draining water shoe, very lightweight, um, and so we're going to try them out as creek shoes and we're going to see how they do as camp shoes as well. Uh, they're kind of slip on, uh, just elastic laces here, and so we'll see how they do. Hopefully they stay on secure enough to get the job done going through the creek here. And, um, I don't know, uh, if I start filling up with too much sand and grit, uh, which may be a very strong possibility with how loose they are around here. I'm gonna, I did bring some uh, neoprene type uh, socks to throw on to um, at least protect my feet from too much sand and grit that gets all abrasive and can rub your skin raw. So let's see how they go. Alright, 
So after the uh, first creek crossing, I could already tell that there's going to be a little bit of debris already piling up in my shoes. So on went the uh, socks here. I have just exited the uh, park boundary for Capitol Reef here and uh, now I'm in a plot of land that's actually a Utah State Trust land.
creek back down here. But unfortunately, there's this uh, barbed wire fence all the way around. So, one option is to uh, carefully step over it here. It's low enough there, and I think I'll do it. Woo! Barely made it over without getting snagged on my pants. Or, for those willing to go uphill a little more here, I think you can uh, go around that tree up here. The, I think the fence, that tree marks the uh, end of the fence right there. At least that's what it looks like, but uh, I'm gonna head back down to the creek here and that's gonna be the easiest way up for a little bit. Pretty flowers here. past the junction with Tantalus Creek, so I'm gonna hike up Tantalus Creek now a ways, up to Maverick Draw. Um, a year ago today, actually, uh, my wife and I um, camped out in this neighborhood here and had a nice time. I uh, wish she could be here with me for this trip, but uh, unfortunately, um, she, she couldn't make it. She's got a stay back with the kids back at the in-laws. We actually have a six-month-old who uh, is still nursing, so she needs her mommy for that. And uh, there's also some uh, family activities going on at the uh, cemetery for her side of the family uh, and Tori there that I think she'd like to be a part of and uh, participate with. So I am uh, flying solo today, if it's not already obvious. That's a big skull. Not sure if that's a horse or a cow. I've joined up with an ATV road here. Maybe even uh, doable for uh, SUVs. Really pretty walk up Tantalus Creek here. Haven't been up this far before. So everything from here on out is all new to me. All right, I've uh, reached Maverick Draw here. This is uh, where I exit uh, away from Tantalus Creek here. Um, I did uh, pause for a little bit here because uh, this is the last source of running water anyways, I believe. Uh, there might be an iffy source of a uh, trickle um, in another spot, spot I've got marked out. But anyways, I just, uh, to play it safe, I just tanked up um, on all the water I should need to see me through to tomorrow. So yeah, that's uh, added on a lot more weight to me, but I did uh, get my shoes off. So I've got dry shoes and socks on again, put my pants, uh, bottoms of my pants back on so I'm ready to shoot out of here it's uh, six just after six got 
two and a half hours of good light left. I'm hoping to make five to six miles in that time frame uh, before I start looking for camp. Um, again, uh, there's a, I'm, I'm reasonably confident there will be at least two more sources, maybe three uh, sources where I could get water between here at Tanawas Creek and uh, the trailhead out tomorrow. But I've never been through here before, so and uh, it's been a fairly dry winter, and they haven't had much rain up here for, gosh, weeks to maybe months. And so uh, I really don't know what to expect from these sources um, on the satellite imagery. They look promising, but I'm not gonna chance it. So I've got like uh, one and a half, two, three, about four liters of water on me. <laughs> so it'll be a good test for another. Got the salmon in view here. This landmark is called the salmon. And there's a couple of arches without a name up there. I'm hoping to get up close to, but that looks like some much steeper approach than, at least from this distance, than I anticipated. Well, getting real close to these arches now. Still not looking any easier to approach them. And due to time's sake, I'm not gonna spend time looking for a way up to them, even if there is a safe way. So, I think that view will do. I'm gonna keep chipping away and try to work my way over this ridge up here. Another arch on the ridge over there. And another arch right there, or a bridge, looks like. And this view from here is fantastic. I am uh, gonna have to change my course here it looks like. I was trying to get up to this ridge and I probably could but it is a bit of a knife edge ridge up there and I just uh, don't know about being able to come down off that backside there so I'm gonna change course and try and make my way down into this drainage down here and there's a way out to Sheets Gulch from there but it is getting late I may be doing some night hiking tonight to get to where I want to camp to uh, make the time I want to make in the morning. But hopefully I can get at least out to Sheets Gulch, to the, to the connection to Sheets Gulch um, in the next hour before it really goes dark. Well, I'm going to camp here for the night. It's way far away from where I plan to. I am... I've got Sheets Gulch in view behind me back here, but no matter where I go to try and find a way down, it's, uh, it cliffs out. And uh, yeah, I should have went with my instinct and went up and over the north side, so north side of the Salmon or even taken the four wheel drive road that goes out and over. And uh, that would have got me there, but oh well, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish out my original route tomorrow. I may have to just head back uh, down Tanless Creek, down to Pleasant Creek, and then where Tanless Creek runs into Pleasant Creek, I can veer left and uh, hit a road up there a little ways and either get wait uh, for my ride there, get picked up there, or, or uh, continue heading out towards uh, Lower Bounds Reservoir and get picked up over there. So anyways, uh, we'll see what the morning brings, how early I can get up and get out of here and what kind of time I can make going northward. Uh, definitely think I'm going to take the path of least resistance though and at least go back to the four-wheel drive road that goes over and I think runs into South Draw out there. and see what happens there. I could also just get in a south draw and make a decision there depending on time. Maybe 
head back to Pleasant Creek Trailhead, taking the road. We'll see. I'm all settled into my tent here. Just gonna get a good rest. Uh, my body needs it. Uh, I was probably getting partially dehydrated uh, before settling in here, and but uh, no matter, I uh, drank up well once I got here and had me some dinner, a little bit of Mountain House um, beef stroganoff for tonight. So uh, feeling much better now and ready to get some sleep, but. Good morning. It is May 28th, Memorial Day. Uh, about 6 a.m. right now. Nice quiet night last night and just uh, starting to pack up here. Uh, this might be the earliest I uh, have ever gotten out of a camp uh, as soon as I leave here in a few. Uh, I am, yeah, like I said last night, way far away from where I wanted to camp last night. Uh, I got greedy with the route I planned, hoping to get some killer views and beautiful scenery uh, in uh, my attempt to find a way down to Sheets Gulch from the area I'm at right now. But uh, it was a no-go everywhere I attempted last night. Um, it's just cliffs and pour-offs every which way I, I look and try to go. So, um, but, uh, that's a consolation prize. I still got beautiful views and amazing scenery and quite the nice little camp spot here. Um, so yeah, I can, it's kind of a teaser though, or uh, mocking me that I can see Sheets Gulch from where I'm at and see down it pretty good. Uh, but uh, I'd love to try and go back the other way and still make a go of it. Uh, there is, if I went back down Maverick Draw, followed Tennis Creek a little bit, back down to the uh, four-wheel drive ATV road down there, uh, it would take me back around to connect with uh, my route that I had laid out down to Sheets Gulch down there. And that may well probably be the only way uh, to connect down there that uh, is remotely safe. And so, um, problem with that is, I think it's, uh, would make it, looking at the map, probably like a 14, 15 ish mile day, give or take a mile or two. And that'd make for a long day, and I don't think my uh, wife and family would be happy with me doing that. As much as I'd really love to go hike down and see Sheets Gulch. Um, we're down here a lot, so it's definitely going to be there uh, for another trip down here. Anyhow, uh, so I may still go scout out the road a little bit and just, you know, get some perspective on it. To, but I'll see what time I, it is when I get back down to that road down there and make a call whether to explore that road and uh, go down in South Draw a little bit, see the backside of the salmon, or actually, I don't know if it's the backside, just the east side of it anyways, but, uh, and then probably shoot over to some waterfalls uh, further up Pleasant Creek. Um, and just hang out there. Uh, there's a road that comes down that area and uh, probably have my uh, father-in-law or wife come down and pick me up there. I think it's my father-in-law that wants to make the drive, so good chance for him to get the dogs out down there too, so. Got a nice little sunrise going on this morning. So there is uh, Sheet Gulch. Goes through that canyon way out there in the distance. I was hoping to be camped out about halfway down there. At, you know, halfway down the gulch, that is. Far from it. All right, 6.30 and I am out of here. Well, I'm back down in Tantalus, uh, on Tantalus Creek here. I guess this might be called Tantalus Flat. 
just a short way to go to get down to the road here and uh, decide what, what I want to do when I get there. Well, I made it back to the road and I uh, just paused for a minute to uh, let uh, my wife know where I was at and uh, topped off, uh, well, didn't quite top off, but added a liter of water to my water bottle here. And since it's only eight o'clock, I'm pretty close to the likely, to the falls of Pleasant Creek which is a, I can get to back up the road behind me. Um, I've got about four to five hours to spare or to kill here, so I'm just gonna wander down the road here. And uh, this is the way I should have gone last night if I wanted to uh, have a much easier, or theoretically a much easier way down to Sheets Gulch. So, highly unlikely that I will get down to the head of Sheets Gulch in the next couple hours. Um, but if I do, then maybe I will just finish it off and uh, go ahead and arrange to be picked up at the trailhead for sheet sculpt sheet sculpt after all but uh we'll see how far i can get in two hours I'm gonna scout this road out and you know see where it takes me in two hours and make a final decision at that point whether uh to turn back and come back up the road up to pleasant creek and wait for a ride there or uh continue on down Sheets Gulch. Here we go. One of the only bits of wildlife I've seen so far. A fuzzy little caterpillar. Also saw a rabbit run across the road earlier. There's Sheets Gulch way out there. And I am passing the eastern side of the salmon now. Got a fence to duck under right here. Yeah, and there's Sheets Gulch down here. It actually veers to the left before you actually get into Sheets Gulch, so it's around the corner there. But uh, I've reached as far as the road will take me um, just after crossing under that fence there. And looks like there's a footpath continues on down there and I I know it's a route others have traveled before so I think it does go all the way down and it's not quite nine o'clock yet so I'm making pretty good time I may be officially on the Sheets Gulch trail before my two hours is up and if that's the case I might just flush it out the rest of the way especially with all the downhill it's going to be going from here so here we go tell you what it sure is nice to be on a path with uh, other human footprints on it that makes me happy after last night I mean I knew this was a route that would probably work I just uh, like I said got greedy with wanting to try some cross-country travel and uh, find uh, those arches up there on the other side and see if I could approach them close or not. And uh, definitely couldn't get up to them very closely. Had to a few of them from far below, but uh, this might work out after all though, as far as timing and everything. Weather's looking good so far and still fairly early in the morning and everything's downhill from here so I think I can make a real good time here and uh, keep to the original course now I'm uh, about ready to reconnect with my uh, mapped out route anyways so I just thought I could come over a little 
pass on the ridge up here between the salmon and Nick's Peak, but uh, again, too cliffy and too many pour offs down in the drainages on that side. So, whoo! We got this now, though, I think. Hey, look, a cairn. She goes. Yeah. Here's an obstacle. Hopefully I can uh, make my way up around the left here and get back down, down there. Let's see. And I'm down. Hey, look at that. Another water source. This is a uh, one that I had marked out on my map, but wasn't sure if it would be running with how dry the winter's been, but uh, it looks good. So I'm gonna top off, or uh, add another liter to uh, my bottle, top it off, and uh, that'll get me back up to four liters of fluids or close to it to uh, see my way out. Even though I don't think I'll need that much. All right, well, it's pretty much 10 o'clock on the dot, and I am well into sheet sculch now. So it looks like I'm committed. I've already uh, alerted my wife to just go ahead and plan on having me picked up down at sheet sculch trailhead, but a couple hours later, and while there's definitely some storms brewing up on Boulder Mountain, uh, they should still be uh, aiming north, northeast. Uh, everything in my way or that would be coming from my direction with looks like it's still blue skies or light feathery white clouds so hope it stays that way pray for no rain cuz uh, that's not gonna be good I got like nine ish miles to go and uh, yeah so it slots up a few times and I'd like to be past all those points before any floods did come down, but I really don't think any of that's going to happen today. So down now we go. This is looking behind me right now and not what you like to see when you're upstream heading down a, some slot canyon. But uh, I just got an alert from my wife, it says the uh, storm cells and all the rain is staying north and heading due north, so should be good. Woo! Looks like my way down right there. I'll tell you what, there's been ample water all along the way since uh, hitting that uh, little brook back there. This water just keeps emerging, disappearing, re-emerging. Starts getting narrower and epic up here. Still crossing my fingers, the storms don't uh, grow out this way. Getting purdy. All right, so I have no idea when I entered back into the park here, but for the record, I am 
back in Capitol Reef National Park. It's possible that I actually entered in where I went under the fence, but I don't think that's right. So I'll be too lazy to look at the map closely right now. I'll look at it later and uh, verify that. But uh, at any rate, I am back in Capitol Reef here and uh, cutting through the uh, water pocket fold here. The uh, Sheets Gulch here, one of the many gorges that cuts through it and is a non-technical route. I just had to stem my way down that a little bit. Hopefully that's the uh, biggest obstacle of the route that uh, I've read about. Not sure though. And this is the, gotta be the first of the three narrower slot-like sections. Uh, it's definitely very much of a slot and there's a narrows and then there's another slot to come with some uh, good breaks in between. Uh, just had to come down that. The, ops, the biggest obstacle right here, about an eight foot drop, but nice little log down there to shimmy down it. That's 
so bad. Back log, someone must have put that there. Woo! I'm not sure if this still counts as the first slot or not, or the uppermost slot. I am uh, making my way ever so closer to uh, the trailhead and getting out of here. Um, definitely most of the way out. Still a couple more narrow sections to get out. One final short slot down at the end. But uh, I just stopped for a nice well-deserved rest. I've been trying to book it down through here, not only to make time, but because uh, I was really worried in the upper stretches that uh, I was going to be trying to outrun a flood and possibly uh, getting stranded up on one of these higher benches. Uh, and when these when floods come through places like this, it can be a all afternoon, all evening affair for it to drain out. And uh, you know, didn't know if there was a chance I'd have to camp out another night and. Uh, try and get someone to cover for me at work tomorrow because I'm supposed to head back home tonight because I got to get up early and go back to work tomorrow but um, almost if I answered prayer uh, these skies have lightened up all around me and uh, yeah because there was gray clouds like I thought it was all going to stay north and uh, north northwest and, and track northeast or I'm yeah so, but uh, then I saw stuff brewing closer over here and even some behind. So I was like all three directions, or three out of four directions, there were gray rain clouds and even for a minute it was completely overcast and, and really getting gray behind me and um, yeah, I was nervous. But uh, I'm feeling more confident now and I'm feeling a little, like ever such a slight little drizzle of a sprinkle every now and then, but uh, it's it's really pleasant right now. And uh, streaks of blue sky everywhere too, so it's uh, turning out to be uh, definitely worth the gamble I did to come down through here. And it's been nothing short of gorgeous and spectacular all the way through. Now that I'm rested up a bit and had a good drink, I'm gonna follow these cairns up and just a little short climb up to an arch right there. Um, so yeah, this is one I'll definitely be able to get up right up uh, and intimate with. This is a good look at the arch. I don't think it has an official name, but uh, may as well call it Sheets Arch. Back down and got my pack back on and heading uh, back down for the trailhead now. It's a nice break, visiting the arch, and, uh, resting up for a bit, getting refueled. And now, not sure how far out I have to go, but pretty confident I can do it within two hours. It's one o'clock now and I uh, told Jess to have her dad meet me at about three at the trailhead. So that's what I'm shooting for. And I've been making such good time, there's a chance I might beat him there. So we shall see. I'm gonna call that Scout Sign Rock. Looks like a hand holding up three fingers like a, a scout sign.
that's cool. White sand. Looks like I'm about to uh, enter through the final slot canyon before I'm home free of all the slots and narrow gorges. Here we go. Should be short and sweet. big cottonwood tree. <laughs> I uh, made it out of the final slot canyon back there. It was definitely the narrowest uh, part of the canyon and also featured the uh, eight-foot uh, pour-off obstacle and uh, wedge through and uh, only lost my water, one of my water bottles fell out in doing so as my pack was scraping up against everything and uh, had to pick that up at the bottom, but uh, I made it and uh, now I'm about a mile to between one and two miles away from the trailhead. It is 10 to two, so not quite two o'clock yet. And Most importantly, I've escaped all the flash flood danger. If anything were to come down now, I, uh, there's still places I could run high. But I'm gonna turn a corner here in a bit and everything's really gonna widen out and where any floods could disperse outward and not be a threat. But, uh, yeah, it's starting to rain now, though. It feels good, though. Feels like I'm on the home stretch now. Here's a look at the uh, high water mark of uh, where floods can shove all this debris against these uh, trees on the side of the bank here. Not sure what kind of a bush or tree this is, but uh, it's putting off some pretty little pink flowers, really tiny. Now I can officially say I'm on the home stretch. The trailhead's right up here. Maybe another quarter mile or so. 
maybe a bit more than that, but not much. All right, there's the trailhead down there. Alright, that's going to wrap up the trip here now that I've uh, reached the trailhead, sitting here waiting for my ride, and I uh, guess it's going to take them about another half hour or so to arrive. So I'm just going to pop in some snacks and uh, drink what's left of uh, my water, got some flavoring in it, so <sighs> should be good. Woo! What a trip. Absolutely amazing and to think that uh, it almost failed me and I was gonna go get picked up out in that storm holy cow get all that rain threatening back there now even more behind me I uh, got out of there just in time Woo! Would not want to be coming down through there now with all that going behind me. So feel really fortunate to have cruised out of there as quick as I did. So yeah, I got out of that gulch in good time. Uh, I actually made it to the trailhead here just before 2.30. And that's amazing because I had planned to camp, oh, close to halfway down the... Sheet Gulch there, um, and plan to be here to uh, meet my ride at about 1, and to be here at 2.30 after camping so far away from where I was hoping to uh, get to last night, and having to backtrack and make up uh, several miles between where I camped last night and uh, the point I meant to uh, leave this morning I think I did pretty fantastic so didn't take very many breaks uh, coming through the gulch there just the you know the water at the top of the gulch and you know then the arch and stopping for a few seconds here and there for pictures and whatnot so that's gonna wrap up this uh, amazing trip another little epic overnighter uh, took about 24 hours all together and got to see a lot of great country doing it. Alright, there's my ride. Hey, Bonnie.